So it's important when you're doing a SWOT table, you understand what it's doing, what you're doing it for. So if you're looking at a SWOT on a place like a house, for example, then what's that house for? So you can do your strengths and weaknesses against that particular goal or against that particular use or that particular task. So if you're looking at a house for a family, you might be considering the sorts of things that go with um, the strengths according to a family, where you might want a large space for a family. On the other hand, if you want a house for a bachelor, you might want a small space so you're not having to keep so much of it tidy. So your strengths will be different depending on the circumstances that you're looking at.